Hello again. Today we're going to do Module 4, Lesson 5. Our objective is that we're going to form rectangles by tiling with unit squares to make rays. Okay, All right. first we want to start the application problem. Candace uses square centimeter tiles to find the side lengths of a rectangle as shown. Here is our rectangle. Okay, so here's a rectangle. Her part, oh, she says that the side lengths are 5 centimeters and 7 centimeters. Her partner, Lewis, uses a ruler to check Candace's work and says that the side lengths are 5 centimeters and 6 centimeters. Who is right and how do you know? Now remember, she's used square centimeter tiles. This means that all the way around is one centimeter and this would be one centimeter, right? Each side is one centimeter long. Do I even need a ruler? Do I even need a ruler? I don't think I need a ruler because I can measure from here to here and if I know that this is one, 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 I can count that up, can't I? So let's count that up and find out from this side to this side how far my distance is. One, two, three, four, five. This side is definitely five centimeters. Okay, let's do the same thing from here to here. Let's measure this side. Okay, well each one of these is one, one, one. Remember, each side of a square centimeter is one <coughs> centimeter. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is seven centimeters long. Okay. Now, who said 5 centimeters and 7 centimeters? Well, Candace said that. Okay, so who is right? Candace is right. Now, how do we know? How do we know? Because this is the Y. Each side of a centimeter square is only 1 centimeter. A centimeter, or no, not a centimeter, of a square centimeter. Is one centimeter. I just counted. The sides of the squares. But I counted the sides of the squares that were along the side that I wanted to measure. That were on the side I want to measure. Okay? Now, did I have a capital? Do I have a period? Any words that I can possibly use like square? Are, are spelled right because I got them already up here. Okay, very good. So, why is she right? Candace is right because each side of a square centimeter is one centimeter. I just counted the sides of the squares that were on the side I wanted to measure. Okay, now, moving on. Okay, I'm going to draw an array. Actually, I'm going to draw a rectangle not an array, especially after I find my pencil. Right here. <laughs> okay, it's got two rows. And five squares apart. Five squares across. So this would be a two groups of five, which would give me the area of what? Ten square. Now do you know what I just happened to tell you? These are square inches. I'm going to use the 
short version of it. So my area is 10 square inches for this rectangle. Now, if I were to take the exact same thing and I draw it over here, and instead of drawing the squares here, I put two inches here to say that this side is two inches long. Can you imagine what is in here already? How many squares is my area? My area is 10. Okay, now I'm going to erase this because now you can't see what's inside. Now I can't keep track of it. There we go. Okay. Now, can we figure out what we know the area is? Can we figure out how long this side is without adding the grid? Can we figure it out? Well, I know that 2 inches times something is going to give me an area of 10. Well, 2 times what gives me 10? Oh, 2 times 5. Well, we already had that up there. But this is how we can find that this side is 5 inches. So right here, I would already know that there was going to be 5 squares. Okay? Now, let's do something else. This time when I give you a rectangle, it's your rectangle. Well, that's a very crazy looking rectangle. When I give you this rectangle, I'm going to tell you that, let's see, this is five in, mm, nope, not the side. This side is five inches. Then I'm going to tell you that the area is 15 square inches. Hmm. Can you f tell me what this one is? Well, 5 times what would give me 15? Well, 5 times 3, right? This means that this is 3 inches. How come these aren't square inches? Because I'm only counting one side of the square. Remember? I'm only counting that outside line of the one that I of the side that I want to measure. This is 15 squares because I'm counting every single square inside this rectangle. Okay. Now, another question. Let's do even another one. What if you saw a picture like this? Could you figure out what the area is? Now, if you saw a picture like this and you knew that these were all one inch squares, would you be able to figure out what the area is of the rectangle? Well, how big is this side? Count your sides. One, two, three. This is three inches. This would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is seven inches. And so what's my area? This is the thing we don't know. Well, this times this would give us the area, right? 3 <coughs> times 7 equals my area. My area is 21 square inches. Right? That means that there's 21 squares inside that rectangle. I didn't even have to draw the whole grid. Now one thing you might want to see, and it's not mentioned in the, in the curriculum, is that this is also the length times the width. This is the length of the rectangle times the width of the rectangle. How long is it? How wide is it? If you want to remember it that way, that's fine. Otherwise, just remember that you multiply the sides. Now, I'm going to draw another one. Kind of fun, isn't it? Here's your rectangle. Okay. This time, I'm going to give you just the side. Okay? So here's your side. This side of the rectangle is 6 
square inches. I want to give you one side. I don't know how long it is. I have no idea. Does it go down here? Somewhere over here? I'm not sure. It's a mystery. This is what I don't know. But I do know that the area is 24 square inches. If the area is 24 square inches, can I figure out what this side is? Can I figure that out? I know this side. Well, 6 times what would give me 24? Now we can either, we could skip count. So we could do another 6, do another 6, do another 6. So we could skip count like this. I have 6. This would be 6. This would be 12. This would be 18. And this would be 24. I could count my rows of 6. So I could skip count. I could remember my multiplication facts. 6 times what is 24? Well, that would be 4. Or I could do a division statement. 24 divided by 6 equals 4. But I can't leave it as 4. I need to put my label inches. I know that this is 4 inches. Okay, let's see if that's all I got to teach you this lesson. And it is. Alright, so if you are given a side and an area, you can figure out the other side. If you're given two sides, you can figure out the area. That's all you need. Two sides, an area, and you can figure out what all these invisible squares are. Isn't that fun? Alright, good luck. See you tomorrow.